Hey guys, Jake here with my bring back, continuing our Objective C tutorials. And right now, what we've got set up is uh, we're gonna be going through the basic operators along with the compound assignment operators. And that may say a little, maybe a little bit foreign to you guys, but don't worry, it's it's actually pretty simple. So what we've got here is we've got a basic NS log, which is gonna print our X results, whatever the value of X is down below so get that set up so you can uh, you can follow along exactly but right now we've got x is 8 which is uh, right now the value of our variable x so I've got a few notes here the first one your basic operators you've got plus minus multiplication division um, and you know you should be up to the par of knowing what those do etc but uh, those are the four basic ones and what we're going to be talking about is the compound assignment operators. So in this case right here, we've got a basic operator adding the value contained in variable x to the value contained in variable y and storing the results in x here. So as you can see, just uh, plain and simple, takes 8 plus 2 equals obviously 10 and that's where it would store the 10 so let's go ahead and decomment this out and run it so you can see now instead of x being 2 or 8 it is now x is 10 because of the basic operator here and the equation that we've put in storing the value in the variable x so let's comment that out and that's uh, that's what you'd call as a basic operator. Now, here's what I want to go into as far as the compound assignment operators. And these look a little bit foreign at first, but they also save you quite a bit of time um, moving forward and looking forward to uh, what we can do. So we're going to go and uncomment this. And this right here um, is basically our operator, our compound operator that basically says add x to y and place the result in X. So it's this exact formula here, but it's simplified and actually uh, it's a compound operation here. So let's go ahead and run that and you can see X is 10 again. So again, same result, different way of writing it. Um, it's gonna give us a little bit more flexibility as we move forward onto uh, programming with compound operators and such. All right. And the same thing can be done. You can take this and uh, put a subtract, and that's going to be subtract y from x and place results in x. Uh, again, you can multiply, uh, multiply x by y and place results in x. So you, can, you can, it's it's a multitasker. You can do multiple things within that compound operator. Save you a little bit of time in the future. All right, the next one that I want to go over is uh, the basics of an increased value. So in this case, we're not adding x to y, but we're adding x plus 1 um, in increments by that. Um, and then storing the value in our variable x again. So again, let's uncomment this, run it here, and you can see it's basically taking the 8 here, adding the 1, and now we get a result of x equals 9. So that's perfect. Again, compound operator here. Compound operator that uh, that's an expression to increment or decrement, decrement. I don't know, something like that. Anyways, x plus plus is gonna give us the same results as x plus one. So if we run that, again we have a plus x x equals nine, a plus uh, plus one as we move forward. Alright, so that's kind of a wrap on uh, basics to the compound operators. It's uh, definitely advantageous to know those as we move forward because it will get, it will build upon those as we uh, go into booleans. Alright, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.